you do in a difficult conversation when the two of you aren't agreeing? Well, if you'd like to know, then check out today's two minute top tip. It can be quite common to find yourself in a conversation where you're going back and forwards. Suppose you're talking to a teacher about the quality of their lesson planning not being at a good enough standard. And you might find yourself in a conversation where they present their reasons or their thoughts, you're presenting yours, and you're going backwards and forwards, but it, it never really feels like you agree that the quality of the lesson planning needs to improve. When that happens, you can try what is my top tip for today, which is chunking up. Let me explain what that is. So when you're talking about lesson planning, you're, you're operating at a level and you're going backwards and forwards. And when you chunk up, you move to a level of the conversation that you can both agree on. In this example, that would be that you both want the children to receive quality lessons. It's highly likely that, that that's something that you and the teacher would agree on. So you get agreement on that, and then you can come back down to the issue of, so how do we make sure lesson plans support the children getting quality lessons? It moves you away from the, essentially what can be an ongoing disagreement to a place where you can move forward. Give it a go and let me know. And if you've got a question about difficult conversations, then you can ask me at ukheadsup.com forward slash ask Sonia. If you'd like to get these tips directly into your inbox every week, then sign up at ukheadsup.com forward slash heads up TV. Mm -hmm.